Thank you. Fox 6 has complete coverage of the recall race. You can always find the latest information on fox6now.com. The election is June 5th. Now to a developing story in Milwaukee as a school community copes with the death of an 11-year-old student. That boy, Israel Brown, was hit by a pickup truck as he ran across the street after school yesterday. Today, Justin Williams shows us how parents, including his own, are hoping to help other kids and their parents avoid a similar fate. I dropped him off 7.45, you know, and 3.30, he was no longer with me. That's just how fragile life is. Diane Brown is talking about the life of her youngest child, Israel Brown, who around 4 o'clock Wednesday afternoon was hit by a pickup truck near the intersection of Port Washington Road and Keefe Avenue in Milwaukee. The 11 year old died at the scene. I tell him every day, Have I told you today that I love you? And sometimes Israel comes and says, Mom, you forgot to tell us one thing today. Ah, I love you. According to a medical examiner's report, the school Brown attends, Hope Christian School Fortis, had just let out, and several buses, some double parked, were lined up on the west side of Port Washington Road. Brown apparently ran out in traffic between the buses. The pickup driver stated that he did not have time to react and struck the child. So it's a little hard to deal with, knowing that they were his classmate. Thursday, while grief counselors meet with members of what's described as a close-knit school community, parents say they want the after-school situation here addressed. Speed bump, speed limit sign, something needs to happen. I mean, Port Washington is very busy, it's very dangerous, it always has been. You just never know. Meanwhile, Brown's mother, while not assigning blame, is giving the city and the school an assignment of sorts. And if anything positive could come out of this, my God, let that be one of them that attention has been paid to this, at least take it to the table. At least say, okay, now what else can we do to prevent this from happening again? One preventative effort involves the Milwaukee Police Department keeping a radar car in the area to monitor traffic and then determine whether a change in speed limit is necessary. Meanwhile, the driver says he was traveling at less than 30 miles per hour and there is no word on whether any charges will be filed against him. Back to you, Ted. Justin Williams, thank you. The medical...